In this brief video, I'm going to walk you through very quickly how to get up and running with a Mondrian 4 model on top of MongoDB so that you can utilize the Pentaho Analyzer tool directly on top of MongoDB. Here is a MongoDB collection. I'm using the Out of the Box Food Mart collection that ships with the Pentaho 5.1 uh, BA Suite. And this tool right here is a free tool out on GitHub. And this is called the Mondrian Mongo Generator. I've put in my credentials, selected my Mongo database instance, I selected the collection, and that will the tool will go out and sample the documents and the attributes in those documents from my MongoDB instance. And now I can just go through here and pick up the fields that I want to use for my dimensions and my measures. Let's keep this simple with just a couple of dimensions and a single measure. And you say make model, give the model a name, let's call it a new model. And Waymo, it's there. Now, it also uh, sets the connection properties for you. So you want to add that to your OLAP for JDOP properties. And let's click OK. And now you have a connection and a model. You can manage those uh, connections right here through Manage OLAP for JDOP properties so that you can delete them and you can manage them from here. You can also edit and manage the models from here in XML. So this is just a thin XML layer on top of MongoDB that Mondrian uses so that it knows how to send the uh, Ag Pipeline queries down into MongoDB. So I can go here and I can edit in place and let's say I wanted to change that default aggregation for these measures of sum. If I want to change that to something else I can just type in average here. And then you can also validate the schema. This is connected up to the XSD for Mondrian 4. So we'll let you know if you've made a mistake. You can validate, save that, and then you're ready to go. And at this point now, we should have a working model ready to um, test with an analyzer. I made a new connection here, so I'm going to restart this. Now, this is a um, thin XML schema that sits on top of your MongoDB collection. Um, and it's going to use analyzer to send, to formulate the MDX OLAP queries. The Mondrian engine is going to capture those, turn them into Ag Pipeline, and send that directly into your MongoDB so that this collection, this Hootmark collection, will be analyzed in real time. All right, so we're ready to go. Let's log in and let's have a look at our uh, new analy uh, analytics model. So here in Analyzer, you'll see it come up in just a second. All right, so let's go to a uh, new analysis report. And if you remember, we called it a uh, new model. So we should see that show up in our drop-down list here of models. And there it is. Click OK. And there are the two dimensions in the measure that we created. So we can uh, ensure that this is, in, in fact, summing. Drop that on there. That looks good. You want to do some formatting things, of course. Let's go, oops, let's go with the um, couple of dimensions into the other shelves here. And there we go. So we got brand names, we got products, and we can slice and dice uh, here and now. And you can also, of course, over on the right hand side, you can change the, this pivot table over to a set of graphs and charts as well. And then do your formatting on these fields as you need. And that's pretty much it. So that's all it takes to get up and running with a Mondrian model in MongoDB. Thank you.